Hello everyone and welcome to Simply Code's YouTube channel. Kaushal this side and I hope you guys are doing well. Today we'll be taking you through HTML style sheets. We are already aware of this topic because we have been styling our web pages with the help of some CSS properties for quite some time now. In this tutorial, we'll see what CSS is and how we can use it differently to make our web page look more attractive to the user. So before we begin, if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel already, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press that bell icon to never miss any updates on programming videos. So without any further delay, let's get started. CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheet. It is a rule-based language used to describe the formatting and looks of a web page. CSS stands one among the top three basic languages required for front-end web development. There are three languages which are HTML, CSS and JavaScript. HTML as we all know is used to create the layout or structure of a web page while CSS is used to format that web page. It means to make changes in the style of elements of a web page. JavaScript on the other hand is used to make a web page more responsive to a user. All three languages together are used for basic front end web development. Let's not go deep into that and we'll now go through the different ways of adding a CSS file to a web page. We can use CSS in three ways in a HTML document. External style sheet. Define style sheet rule in a separate CSS file. The CSS file's extension is going to be .css and then we can include that file in our HTML document using the link tag. Another method we have is the internal style sheet. Define style sheet rules in the header section of the HTML document using style tag. Another one we have is inline style sheet. In this method, we define style sheet rule directly along with the HTML elements using the style attribute. Remember the difference. In internal style sheet, we use style tag and in inline style sheet, we use style as an attribute. So let's go through each of them practically. You guys will understand it much better. We'll use an external CSS file first. We'll attach it to a HTML document. For that, let's write something over here on the web page first so that we can then style that particular element. So what we'll do is we'll move to the body of a HTML document and we'll use a div tag over here. So we'll write here div and inside this, let's write something over here. So let's say we are writing over here styling using external CSS file or we can say styling using external style sheet. So this is a basic example of creating a division. Save the program and you can see here we have some text present over here, right? The next thing we'll do is we'll attach a CSS file to this HTML document using a link tag. Then we'll style this div tag in that file only. So Let's do one thing first. We'll create a CSS file first. So we'll go to this section. We'll add a file and let's name it as style.css. .css is the extension for external CSS files. Remember this guys. Press enter and you can see we have another style sheet present over here. So this is empty for now. We just created this style sheet. Now let's move back to the HTML file for now. Now what we'll do is We'll link this style sheet to a HTML document. For that, the task is simple. We use the link tag. So we'll move to the head section of a HTML document and we'll write here link. Fine. So after link, what we'll do is we'll write here rel and rel is going to be style sheet. Then we have type. So this defines the type of a document. So we'll write here text slash CSS and then we finally write here href and a sheet name is style.css fine so we'll write here style.css close it now the rel attribute here signifies the relationship between these two documents which means the html document and the css document fine the type is css and the href refers to the source of a css file save the program and you can see nothing happened over here on the browser. 
Now what we'll do is we'll style this div tag in the external CSS file we just created. So let's move on to the CSS file and what we'll do here is we'll write over here. So we are going to style a div tag fine. So for now we'll write over here div. This is the syntax for styling any HTML element. Fine. So let's style it. So let's say we are writing over here background color as blue. Fine. Save it now and you can see the background color is changed to blue. Next thing, let's change the font color as well. So let's say we are writing over here antique white as font color. Save it now. You can see the font color is also changed. Let's add some more CSS properties. So let's say we are writing over here font weight. So font weight is going to be bolder. Then we have let's say font style. So font style we are going to write here italic. Fine. Save the program and you can see the text is bolder and italic in nature. Fine. Next thing, let's add a border as well. So we'll write here border. Border is also a CSS property. So we'll write over here three pixel. This is the thickness of our border. Then we'll write here solid. This is the nature of our border. And let's say we are writing over here the color name. So silver is going to be the color name. Save it now. And you can see this div tag or division we can say now has a silver border with some background color and font color as well. The last thing we are going to write here is text align. We are going to align the, this text at the center of a division. Save it now and you can see the text present at the center of a division. Fine. You can see the change over here on the browser. We created the layout here with HTML and then we styled our div tag using CSS. We can style any HTML tag here either with the help of tag name or the ID and class attribute. Fine. The second way of styling an HTML tag is with the help of inline CSS. This method is used to apply a unique style to a single HTML element. For inline CSS, what we need to do is we need to move to the HTML file first and here what we are going to do is we are going to create another division now. Fine. We don't need any special tag or external CSS file for inline CSS or we can say inline style sheet. So what we'll do is We'll write over here. Let's use the break tag first to make it look more tidy. So we'll use break tag twice and then we'll write here div. Fine. So this is going to be another division and we are going to write here P. So let's write here styling a document using inline CSS. Fine, save it now and you can see this division has the same styling as the previous one. This is because we have used the tag name over here inside this style.css and both the tag names are same. Both have div tags, right? So what we'll do is we'll remove this line for now. Now save it and you can see both of them don't have any style right now. Fine. So what we are going to do is we are going to write here again. Now we are going to style it with the help of inline CSS. For that, we need the style attribute. So we'll write here style. Then we are going to define the background color as let's say aqua. Then we have, so let's make it tidy. So we'll apply the font color as well. So let's say the font color is going to be black for this one. Then we have Let's say font style, font style is going to be italic and then we have font weight, font weight is again going to be bolder. We have discussed all these properties in the external CSS part as well. So let's mention all of them here. So we are going to use the border as three pixel again. Let's say dashed for now. So we'll write here dashed and then we'll write here the color name. So let's say the color name is gold and we have the border as well so at the end we'll write here text align at the center fine so the style attribute plays a significant role in this type of style and you can see it over here on the browser the moment we say we have another division over here so you can see it over here this division has dashed border which is also three pixel thing and it looks different from the previous one right so let's Mention the link over here as well again. So we'll write here link. Rel is going to be 
style sheet type is going to be text slash CSS and then we have href href is going to be style dot CSS fine close it save it now and you can see the difference between both the divisions right the first one uses the external CSS file and the second one uses the inline style sheet okay the output is almost the same as the previous one apart from the colors and all so inline CSS is easy to use but it can make an HTML document look more confusing and we need to style each element separately if we use this method to apply a style to an HTML document. It doesn't matter if we want to apply similar styling to more than one element. Inline CSS can be tricky and lengthy in such tasks. Moving ahead, let's talk about the last method we are left with for the HTML style sheet, the internal method. So it uses a style tag inside the head section of our HTML document. So for that, what we are going to do is we are going to remove both these divisions, save it now and we are going to remove this link as well. We are going to remove the link for our external style sheet as well, save it now and you can see we have nothing over here on the browser. So what we are going to do is we are going to create another division. Now inside this we are going to use a paragraph. So let's say we are writing over here styling a document using internal sheet. Fine, save it now and you can see we have a paragraph over here, nothing else. Now this method is used to style elements of a single web page. We can apply the same styling to a bunch of elements simultaneously with the help of internal CSS. The task is simple. So let's do one thing. Let's create another division over here. So we are going to create it after the break tag and paste it here and let's write something over here as well so let's add here style sheet 2 and you can see we have two paragraphs now these two are in different divisions so what we are going to do is we are going to style both the divisions at the same time or simultaneously we can say so for that what we are going to do is we are going to move to the head section of our html document and we are going to use the style tag so style can be used as a tag or as an attribute as well. If we are using inline CSS, then we are going to use style as an attribute. And if we are going to use internal CSS, then we are going to use style as a tag. Fine. So let's write it over here. So we have a div tag. Now what we'll do is we'll style both of them. So we are going to write a background color as, let's say red for both of them. Then we have color which refers to the font color so let's say we have the font color as black again then we have font weight font weight is going to be bolder then we have font style font style is going to be italic save it now and you can see the difference in the browser both the div tags have same styling as of now now the next thing we are going to write here is border fine so we are going to write here border Let's make it 5 pixels this time. We are going to write here solid again and let's change the border color to let's say we have yellow. Fine. So we'll write here yellow. Save it now and you can see the border color is yellow. So the last property we are left with is text align. We are going to align it at the center. Save it now and you can see the difference. On increasing the browser's size, you can see the difference. The text is aligned at the center of both the divisions. Fine. This method is also good to use if you want to style any particular web page only. I hope you guys must have understood all the three methods of using CSS by now. The question that arises now is which method we should use to keep the whole document neat and clean. The answer to this question is external CSS. This is because external CSS allows us to style multiple documents at once. It keeps our HTML document clean and less prone to error as well. So I want you guys to use all the methods and then let us know in the comments which method you like the most or which method you are more comfortable working with. So that's all for this video guys. See you in the next one where we'll go through HTML JavaScript. If you enjoyed watching this video, do give it a thumbs up. If you have any doubts, do let us know in the comments. Please share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe. Simply code. Thank you.